So, are we back on? Yeah, are we recording? Two seconds, three seconds, we're in. We're back here. Right, folks. I didn't do right, folks, on the last one, did I? I completely fucked that up. Um, it's a bit of a catchphrase I've got there. I don't know. I didn't want to do catchphrases, but right, folks, it seems to have stuck, thanks to True Geordie and a few others. Doing impersonations of me. Um, <laughs> well, they do, don't they? They were right, folks. Do I sound like that? I don't know. I probably do. Um, obviously, here with the Kiwi drum next door. And this time, we are going to review a Sadler's Peaky Blinder Lager. For the visually impaired, I'm holding the bottle up to the camera and it says Peaky Blinders Lager. Um, I think uh, Sadlers are cashing in on the success. Uh, oh, hold on. Um, if you're just watching this one and you've not watched the other one, uh, people were moaning about us uh, not being two metres apart, so I have actually bought some Perspex screen uh, to keep me and Cameron apart. And stop all the diseases and everything flowing because we don't want that, do we? even though i've had it have you had it mate do you think you've had it i had something similar pre-christmas yes so i can't i can't guarantee it was yeah but when i look at the symptoms and what i had yeah very similar yeah it's, it's Must have been, it might have been its cousin yeah I don't know. another strain yeah and uh so you know hopefully we're both immune to this kind of shit now that's fingers going crossed. You, you know fingers crossed yeah uh, so anyway we've got a saddler's peaky blinder i don't know if people are listening to her you can see that we're in the garden uh somebody called god almighty i'm repeating what i've just um said on the last video somebody uh, a youtuber called god almighty said we should call this the beer garden uh, and a lot of people actually want us to carry on doing these little chats over the fence just two normal blokes having a chat over a fence Fuck's sake. Keep talking shots yeah talking bollocks <coughs> Uh, it's alcohol, obviously, uh, because beers are meant to be alcoholic, and um, it's a 4.1 volume in uh, 4.1 percent volume. And um, let me read the little story. Do you want to read the little story on the back, Cameron? The little story. Yeah, you're the six generations of brewing, but oh, okay, uh, a crisp, refresh, refreshing pale lager that balances the soft, smooth bitterness of British hops with the uplifting pine citrus notes of American Cascade. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm getting fed up with these bloody beers with bloody citrus in it, or as I call it, clitoris. Uh, well, I, I don't think it's got citrus. Yeah. Pine and citrus notes, notes of American Cascade. But you look at the actual ingredients, it's malt, lager malt, caramel, so it's going to be a bit caramelly. Pops first gold, Goldings, Challenger, and Cascade. Well, oh. I don't have a clue what they are. I like this. Is one thing I do like about a Saddlers. Um, they put food matching, and um, they tell you what this can go with in food wise. It's uh, very and, good with barbecue meats. Yes, and cookery tips. Um, trying a light tempura batter in a or in a smoke glaze for a barbecue meat, which I do like. That is a good thing that Saddlers do there. Um, yeah all good stuff so i do like a saddler's um i don't know whether i want to be sure of this because i'm getting pissed off with these silly bloody citrus fruits and stuff let's see let's see it smells quite malty it does don't it i've just had that up my nose the bottle up my nose and i thought mm. so uh there it is, folks. I've poured mine in a glass. It's actually lighter than I thought it would be. It is, isn't it? Um, it's got good head, and you you can't beat good head. It smells like beer. You know, it's not a lot of... It's, uh, it doesn't taste as citrusy as you'd think. No, it don't, does it? There's so, something there. There's something there, but it's not... But it's not as... You know what? That ain't unpleasant, is it? It's quite nice. It's got that citrus thing. It's almost got a little bit of a sweet taste. Is that yeah. the champagne beat from the caramel? People may correct me on that. I do not know. That ain't bad. It's lost its head now, look, folks. It's um, it's gone pretty fucking flat now. Flat as a witch's tit, as they say down in your way of the world. <laughs> Quite nice. 
it's all right, isn't it? I tell you what, if I got a couple of bottles like that for my birthday, even though I don't celebrate my birthday, so don't go sending me stuff on birthday. Apparently, I'm on. Um, you are. You are. Famous you birthdays. Up on something. Famous birthdays. I was like, fucking hell. How can that happen? They, they sent me an email saying, do you want to be on famous birthday? So did you have to fill out a little bio or something? Or no, they just made any old shit up. To be fair, <laughs> um, you know. Apparently, I was on. Um, I used to go to a school called Rawlins in Quorn, and I was actually on uh, students of former students of notability, uh, and it was their Blue Van Man YouTuber. They've took the fucker down. Have they? Yeah, they've took me down. Why? I don't know. Get me back up. Get me back on there. Why are they taking you down? Oh, I don't know. Perhaps it's all the fucking swearing I do. Have you become more famous? Than... I probably have outgrown them. Uh, I... I don't like it. <laughs> nah. Have they uh, actually gone back and seen how you were at school? And yeah, I was, I was completely useless at school. They probably <laughs> took me down because out of the shock that, uh, uh, you know, I used to get uh, art teachers. I can't even remember the teacher's name at that place. I hated Rawlings, to be fair. I got so fed up with it. It was just rubbish. I just really hated it. I couldn't wait to finish school and end up on a YTS moving furniture about. That so was, what, did you have to... I had to do Walk things. across the slabs, bare feet in the cold and stuff. <laughs> you one of those... Like, Get up before I went to bed. You know. No? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I used to walk across the slabs and all that and catch a bus and everything. Uh, but, um, no, I just didn't really like Rawlings. I just think uh, it was just two years of my life that were a complete blank. I think the best thing I did in Rawlings was I was in art. In fact, what happened was I wanted to do woodwork and carpentry because the idea was I wanted to leave school and go and work with my dad. Because my dad's a chippy. Yeah. Uh, you know, you don't work in a chippy. He, he is actually a carpenter. <laughs> and the idea was I was going to leave and go and be a builder and stuff with him. But they didn't put me in that. They put me in art. Oh. And so as soon as you go in something that you don't want to do, you, you don't want to do it, do you? No. So no. the best thing I actually did in art, uh, they used to have these big massive sheets of uh, paper, a bit like the size of this um, Perspex sheet here for health and safety reasons, so me and Cameron don't catch anything and die. Um, I made a giant paper aeroplane and uh, went outside and me and Paul Nickel and Greavesy and a few others were throwing these paper aeroplanes around and got bollocking. So that's about the only thing I can actually remember of Rawlins. It was just a complete waste of time. So there you go. So back to the beer. It's, it's gone it's a nice beer. It's, yeah. It's got a good taste. It's easy to drink. <sighs> Yeah, Can't it is all right, isn't it? If you got this for your birthday or something, you'd be quite you'd happy, be happy, wouldn't you? You'd be like, I like drinking different beers. Yeah, I do. I like to try it's different a, things. It must be when you grow up, you start to um, want to try different beer, don't you? Yeah, you do. You don't. It's like there's things out there to experiment and learn about, isn't there? Yeah. But some yeah. people are so one dimension. You know, I won't eat that foreign muck and all that kind of thing. And it's quite pathetic and sad, really. So, yeah. So, but no, it's not bad. Nice beer. You can, easy to drink. Yeah. What do you, so if you went back home to New Zealand today what, and you walked straight into a bar, what would your... I'll have a pint of... Oh, it'd be Spates. Spates. Spates Gold. Spates Gold. I know someone asked on the question, in the comments. Yes, what? he's uh, Mark Webb Elliott. He asked that. I, uh, Spates Gold would be the first thing I'd pick up. Is that a lager or a bitter? It's a lager. Yeah? Yeah. Can we get it over here? I can get our hands on it. We'll have to review it then, dude. It's, um, yeah. We'll have to try that. Yeah, I'll have to see if I can get some. Yeah. Um, it is, it's, yeah, that, that is my, if I went home. Yeah. It's one of those things that people go, oh, what do you miss? Yeah, that'd be one of the things I wouldn't miss. Perhaps that's sort of, do they like, you know when the Kiwis, uh, the, the uh, cricket and the rugby team come over here, do they like ship any over for the away well, fans? Or? There was a bar in London. Yeah. They, uh, now let me think, I've got to remember this. The 99 Rugby World Cup that was hosted in England. Yeah. They, the guys from Dunedin, where Spates is manufactured. Yeah. Um, they built a pub on a barge. Yeah. And they Drove, they shipped it over and then it was sat on the Thames yeah. and then after the World Cup they actually moved it into a little pub uh, into London but really? I think it's closed now 
I think it's closed down. And it was like the Sp the Spates pub. Um, That's a great idea. You know, you get these pop up breweries that are popping up. Yeah. You could do that for like when visiting teams come over for World Cups and cricket so, um, things, can't they? So I, I did go to it. I dragged my, my mates along to it in yeah. London. But I'm pretty sure it's closed now. But, That's a um, shame. I know the walkabouts sometimes sell space. Yeah. But obviously they're more Australian. But you can sometimes. I, I know definitely London pubs, uh, walkabout pubs, you can pick up the space. Yeah. We'll have to get some, dude. We'll have to try that. Oh, uh, I'd look forward to that. Uh, oh, uh, see what I can do on my, on my website. On your connections. Yeah. On your little fingers in your pies and stuff. Yeah. Many fingers and many pies. So, yeah, that's, yeah, I do I, miss the spades. I think, just going off subject, well, not going off subject, because we're actually reviewing the beer. Um, this Peaky Blinders beer was only 79p a bottle. Was it? I think it was. Because um, there were two old days. Well, her husband and wife. Were they, were they counting their pennies? Oh, no, well, they've got a massive trolley um, full of stuff. He got a mask on and um, she got nothing on. Well, she had got clothes on, but obviously. Uh, he got a mask on, one of the paper things. Oh, he, he kept pulling it down like this to talk to her. And I was, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Is that not. Um, you should have just not had it on. Well, yeah, it you, is you, one of them situations. It's like you're when, missing the point, then, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, it's like when they wear it over the mouth, but not over the nose. Or under the chin. Yeah. Or why don't they just put it on the forehead? <laughs> it's just fucking ridiculous. It really is. I got another, but somebody else walking around home bargains. They were on the phone, but they weren't just on the phone to the rear. They got it on FaceTime, so they were walking around looking at somebody like this, and I'm thinking, fucking put it down. Just stop it. Hey. I had a friend post photos of a Tesco's of people walking against the direction of the arrow. Disgusting. They want the legs chopping off. <laughs> Perhaps it, that's a bit harsh, isn't it? Chopping your legs off. Yeah. Right? Um, uh, yeah. It just makes you wonder. It does, doesn't it? It really does make you wonder how the world ticks. So. Uh, but, uh, Have you done your beer, I've mate? Done my, I've done uh, I'm a little bit thirsty. <laughs> So, uh, no, very nice, nice beer. You know, they're yeah. obviously they're, they're, they're hanging on to the coattails of the Peaky Blinders. Yeah, show. They're, they're going to be struggling now, aren't they? Is it finished? I've... Well, it's not finished, but obviously they can't record at the moment, can they? No, no they can't. No. Everything's on, you know. I think Everything's there's... on hold. Yeah, there's only two episodes of Corrie going out. Apparently, they've got enough to last them through the summer. Have um, they? Oh. Yeah, or something like that. They were talking about it. Oh, fucking well, I can't. I can't. How old are you? Watching Corey? Really? Does anybody. I mean, does. Uh, do you watch Corey? No. No, I don't. I used to watch it when Reg Oldsworth was in it and uh, he had that waterbed with uh, Sherry Houston and the water best, waterbed burst. That was funny. Bet Lynch and uh, Elliot. Uh, what was his name? Was it Black the and Elliot, White? The, or Hey. Was it in black and white? Well, I, I used to watch it in black and white and all. That's only because we didn't have a colour telly. Um, back in the 70s. Um, yeah, but I can't. I don't know anybody who watches it now. It's all shit. So, so you got anything else to add, mate? And I'll round this not, one up. Not, real, not really, mate. That's a, that's no. a nice beer. It's easy to drink, you know. Yeah. Um, they are good saddlers. They do... They do make some good stuff. I've had a couple that I weren't impressed with, but Sadler's overall, you get value for money and um, that kind of stuff. And they are cashing in on the Peaky Blinders thing, and fair play to them, because in this day and age, you've got to find a niche in the market. And well, you do, don't you? Yeah. yeah. So. Right, we'll wind that one up then, dude. Yeah. All good. We'll do it. If people like these, keep saying that you like them, and we'll do we'll a few more of these we'll uh, few more. in the beer garden. Not the night garden. Not a... Uh, what were it uh, on the kids program i can't remember the names i used to watch them with ginge but there you go all right folks all right, see later. Ya. See ya.